Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be um, walking you through how you can add a Omnibox uh, feature onto your extension. Now what this does is when the user is using the address bar up here, there's a special keyword that you can set that can sort of activate your extension and then anything that they type in after this will get sent off to your extension so you can then send some responses. So a quick example of this here, so in my example, I've used RZ as my keyword. So if I then press tab, you can see here it's using my Omnibox extension. So if I type something in here, I can then uh, see my responses. Now for this example, all I'm doing is let the user either search Reddit with whatever they've typed in or search Twitter with what they've typed in. So you can see here, these are my two options. And then if I press enter, it's gonna send that to another listener on the extension, which all that does here is just open a new tab. So if I press enter, you can see it searches this for me here. Now in the code, I can show you what this looks like. Um, I'm using manifest version two because uh, there's actually a bug for manifest version three around this uh, Omnibox permission at the minute um, based around service workers. Now, because in manifest version three, they took away the DOM, Omnibox's uh, listeners use that. So there's a problem with that at the minute, which hopefully will be fixed soon. But anyway, I'm showing you this for manifest version two. Um, so basically all you need to do is pass in this Omnibox object into your manifest file with your keyword. Now you could change this to anything that you want, um, but it's best to keep it quite specific to your extension so that it's easy for people to remember. And then that will be the word that the users will enter into the address bar and then press tab, then they're you know, into your, into your uh, listeners. So that's all we need to add into the uh, manifest file here. And then if we look in my background script or service worker, if that was possible, um, there's a few different options that you can have. Now, you, there's a first, there's a listener here when the input actually starts. Um, so as soon as they um, hit tab and they're using your extension or your Omnibox listener, um, the next option you'd find is when the user actually starts typing. So down here, um, you can see if I just move this down a bit, you can see it's just Chrome Omnibox on input change. They're very similar to message events and um, other things you know, within the Chrome API, they're very, very similar. And then we just have our event listener that listens for the text that they're typing in. And then there's our callback, which is this suggest function. So all we need to do is send an array um, of objects. So you can see here, there's a deletable option. So if I show you what that does, it basically adds um, this uh, delete box at the corner here so I can remove these suggestions um, you don't have to pass that through but if there's you know if there's lots of suggestions there that might be useful um, but what you could do here is send a request to your server um, with what the users typed in so you can actually add more responses in here rather than just you know like I've done here just put in reddit and twitter um, but all I then do is pass in content which is the actual url or you know what you want to fit in the address bar and then you can have a description here. So it doesn't have to show that URL all the time. You can just give them a little bit of information as to what this is actually all about. So if I was to put in something else like testing, you can see that's what shows just here um, rather than, like I say, that whole URL in there. Um, so that's all you need to put in here. So there's deletable. You don't have to include that content and then description. And then once you've finished that and you've um, put, you know, have your array of all of this information, you just return it to that suggest function. And then finally, all you need to do to actually have something actually happen. So if I'm over here as a user um, and I select one of these options and press enter, or if I, you know, if I click on it, it's gonna want to actually call this event. So if we go over here, you can see we have Chrome Omnibox again on input entered. So when they press enter or they click on it, we then want to actually open this. So we just use Chrome tabs create and then pass through the, uh, the text just here. Now all that is, is whatever is in the address bar. So that will be this content just here. So it's a really simple way of being able to add some advanced features into your extension. This could be quite useful um, if you want to build like an add on to an existing site or you know, add more features to your extension. Quite useful if it's built based around search or autocomplete, you know, things like that. It gives you a lot of ways that users can quickly get into your extension. Um, it, it could even be a way that you could have um, like quick uh, links to get into your, your extension. So you could just have, like I had there, RZ. 
um, tab, and then I could show, you know, homepage, pricing, da da da, da different things like that. And user can quickly get to there rather than having to type in your whole URL. Um, so, you know, you could listen for different things and then show the suggestions there and then. Um, so it, it depends, you know, there could be a real good use depending on what your extension actually is. Now, as I was mentioning, the issues with manifest version three. So if I change this back to version three here and then refresh over on uh, Chrome. Okay, so what you will find, as soon as I go to um, actually run the extension, so I go over here, you can see I've got my default text here, which is my uh, default suggestion, um, but nothing actually will run. You can see it's just not adding anything in here. Now that is because there is a um, DOM parsing that's going on um, just here. So whenever the input changes, it's trying to at, um, grab this information and it's not actually running at all. Now there is a, um, a bug uh, in the actual Chrome browser that's causing this issue. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to the status report around that. Um, and hopefully that gets fixed soon because otherwise, you know, we can't actually use this in our extensions. Um, but hopefully you found this video useful around adding the Omnibox feature to your extension. If you've got any questions on how to use this or, you know, getting started pushing this into your extension, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll uh, be sure to take a look. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.